the Serge to me is sort of the ideal when it comes to an electronic sound device, it's sort of the ideal instrument. To me the Serge is this really beautiful balance between the potential for precision and, and cleanliness and purity of the signal and really sophisticated control as well as being really, really wild and having this potential for for noise and chaos and turbulence and uh, it's a really open design so anything can be connected with anything, anything can make feedback for example. I make music out of the sort of the, 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 the byproducts of electronic sound, of the, the sort of um, the, the, the mistakes in the in the sound design, of uh, feedback and distortions and all kinds of strange non-linear electronic processes that create these quite tactile, kind of organic uh, electronic noises. I play relatively manually. Um, of course, synthesizers from the 1970s, 1960s, 1970s um, are all about voltage control. The, kind of the analog precursor to MIDI in a way. I focus a lot on sort of manual interaction. I focus a lot on feedback, on maybe having multiple streams of sound running at the same time and being able to kind of dynamically cut and splice between them. I use a kind of an eight by eight uh, matrix mixer, a custom built thing uh, as my kind of as my master controller. It's kind of like a almost a, kind of like an expanded DJ mixer in a way that allows you to jump cut or crossfade between multiple streams of sound. I don't do a lot of sophisticated uh, voltage control. I don't really do sequencing. I, um, I do a lot of manual, just touching on the flipping switches and turning the dials. So when I play live, I combine basically all the sound I ever use comes from the Serge modular. And about half of it is live, and about half of it is samples of the Serge modular. So when I play live, I simply trigger all kinds of small sound fragments in Max MSP using a simple MIDI controller. All the textures, all the sounds come from the Serge, whether prepared in the studio or played live. And then I, I will usually process the, the pre-recorded fragments through the Serge again using equalization and frequency shifting and ring modulation and panning and strange processes where you uh, use very, very fast random modulations to kind of like rip the sounds apart. And so I use, uh, I use kind of the standard analog signal processing toolkit, filtering, EQing, different modulations, distortion. Thank <laughs> you.